This is Branko Malic of Kali Tribune. Uh, this podcast will talk about a subject that was uh, looked into at the very beginning of this web- website in its English iteration. And this that is the subject of euthanasia. Euthanasia is one of those, uh, I would say, manifestations of, let's say, zeitgeist, that is, of at least semi-spontaneous uh, mentality developed in our day and age, but also a manifestation of, let's say, also semi-conscious, I would even say semi-conspiratorial policy to change uh, the landscape of human life, which I termed for the convenience of Kali Tribune readers, the politics of dissolution. Uh, I will refer to a note, to a show note, to an article, a recent article, where this term has been defined. Uh, now, uh, the, the immediate uh, uh, immediate uh, cause for doing this podcast is, as one may already conjecture, uh, the, the case in UK that just had its uh, gloomy resolution, that is the case of little Alfie Evans, the boy that suffered an unknown degenerative disease of the brain, that have died, I think, some 24 hours ago or maybe more and was removed by court order uh, that is, I'm sorry, by decision of the of the hospital uh, from uh, respirator ventilator from life support uh, despite the protests and legal actions of his parents and protests from all around the world and despite which will be very essential for our podcast uh, the option to remove him from Britain and this given hospital and treat him abroad, that is in Italy or Germany, Munich, München or Rome. Uh, now, I have read uh, the court ruling uh, on uh, Alfie Evans' case and also the a rejection of the appeal on behalf of his father and his solicitors uh, to this ruling, which is quite interesting, quite, I wouldn't say worrisome, because phase of worrisome regarding euthanasia was in the early decades of 20th century. Now it is all well beyond worrisome. <laughs> Uh, especially with this case, as we shall see, and uh, I would I would put it put put links to these rulings in the show notes, and I do recommend reading them because uh, this case, as much as I could see, was not so well covered uh, by alternative or let's say, not alternative media, but intellectuals independently on internet. It, 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 there wasn't so, so much talk about it as I have seen, and, well, mainstream media covered it pretty good, from what I saw from English press and American. Uh, but to get the real gist of it, it is always good to, not always good, it is essential to go to the core issue because core issue of the whole thing is a legal issue. And this is what is frightening. And to do this you have to think, uh, uh, contemplate uh, the court rulings. And if you don't feel so inclined, well, there's Kali Tribune for you and I'll do it now. Uh, not we will not do this as you as you observe in a video form where I will read sentence by sentence. It is not necessary. This will be much shorter. I'll just pinpoint the main things. Let me uh, uh, to get one thing out of the way 
immediately. Uh, this is not a clear-cut euthanasia case. Euthanasia is not an act of discontinuing uh, medical treatment when this treatment is futile. This is not euthanasia. Euthanasia is an act of killing that is administering a little agent uh, to end the life of patient whether on his uh, request, whether on the request of his family, but most importantly and most often, uh, not most, most often, but it will become most often probably by the decree of the system or the government of institutions. In this case, but the case of Alfie Evans is kind of muddle. It is, it is something in between uh, euthanasia and simply uh, withdrawing life support. It is the case of court and hospitals battling to continue and implement uh, a palliative care, that is, the care for the terminally sick. Whereas <coughs> the parents of Alfie were framed in the way that they are combating this palliative care. This is very, uh, very confusing. <coughs> this is very confusing and morally uh, despicable. The reason is this. Uh, palliative care in euthanasia debates, palliative care is most usually, uh, the, if not always, uh, the argument of anti-euthanasia advocates. Because palliative care is uh, antidote for euthanasia. The argument is that palliative care <coughs> uh, is one of the best developing forms of medical care and that it is now uh, developed to such an extent in the West that it can alleviate uh, a great deal of suffering and should be administered instead of euthanasia so the man can live his life to the bitter end because every life end is bitter but some life ending processes are more bitter than others to put it lightly uh, the reason why euthanasia is called for. On the other hand, is not uh, that uh, uh, death is considered good, although I think the underlying motive is the desire for death, uh, the nihilism, nihilism of euthanasia advocates, but that, and please remember this term, the quality of life is at stake, is in danger. So, the quality of life has to be preserved, ironically, even to an extent of terminating life. In the case of Alfie Evans, this is precisely what happened. He was not euthanized in a strict sense. He, uh, in a legal sense, this was not euthanasia. This was, as they define it, and this, this makes it perverse, a palliative care. And a palliative care meant that he should be held in the hospital in which he was treated, treated rather well and uh, proficiently, as all parties, I think, agree, from what I can see. Uh, but treated in such a way that it is clear that the treatment will, <laughs> will end up in him dying because uh, the decision was to pull him off ventilator which would mean that he would die in a few hours but he, he, he defied the doctor's predictions and lived much longer yet eventually the poor child died. Uh, so uh, we have a palliative care towards death that is kind of palliative care implementing a court in, uh, ordering the implementation of palliative care that can end up only in death only so uh, kind of like you have a feeling as it was palliative care to speed up death the problem is uh, that <coughs> the do experts uh, namely German doctors one Dr. Haas, one Dr. Hübner, 
I don't know about Roma, uh, Italian ones and others that is as uh, mentioned and quoted in the court verdict, that is, uh, pardon, court ruling, uh, put forward, uh, they didn't contend the, 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 the gravity of the child's state. Uh, the disease is unknown, in effect, but the symptoms indicate that it is terminal. Uh, terminal degeneracy of still undeveloped brain, I mean. You know, a terrible predicament. But what they both said is that there is no impediment on transporting the child, the Alfie Evans, to Italy, as was proposed, to Vatican, <coughs> or to Munich, Germany. Uh, that the transport itself would not... Uh, uh, bear uh, such a grave risk to his situation that he would not survive, that it could be organized with significant costs, of course, but those costs were, as I believe, already been proposed to be paid by, by Italy, Italian government, who, or German, probably German government, Italians even offered uh, giving uh, Alfie uh, citizenship. Uh, yet judge overruled this idea because it could be detrimental to the quality of life of the poor little Alfie Evans. I would propose with my usual Croat Balkan bluntness that this judge doesn't give a shit about quality of life of this child. But perhaps he does give an S uh, about the idea of quality of life. And this is what makes this case a landmark. This child was uh, left to die, left for death, not killed, but left for death, although it could have been, not maybe not saved, but uh, given a, a fighting chance, if it was allowed, uh, he was allowed to travel from Britain. He was practically left to die, like in ancient times when they left poor uh, sick children to animals or to elements outside the village, <coughs> to, to preserve an idea, to reinforce a political principle of quality of life. And when I wrote about euthanasia, and you will have this long article in the show notes, one of conclusion was, and I hate being right <laughs> about these things, that the quality of life is a central, central hook of euthanasia, euthanasia legislative and euthanasia implementation. Uh, this is the criterion. Whereas in medicine, and you don't have to be medical doctor to know this. The criteria is the preservation and saving of lives. From the ancient times. From the times where lives were lost on daily basis. Even where, where death was a everyday occurrence in our midst. Uh, this, was, this was the principle for Hippocrat. <laughs> who codified it, but probably um, uh, before him too. And this, this Hippocratic oath, once the quality of life has become criterion, is revoked. And in this case it was done. And it was done, remarkably, by courts, because it is a legal issue, it is a political issue, because a quality of life is a cornerstone of the definition of human being, for instance, in European Union, but obviously in this proud Great Britain that is Brexiting, and it is the cornerstone of a Cali Tribune bugbear, sustainable development. Now, when talking about this politics that is enshrined in modern, uh, postmodern institutions, or it is at least attempted to be enshrined that this is one very successful attempt or better to say this was an instance that shows that attempts have been su indeed successful to, to an extent 
is that quality of life of human being uh, is a systemic category. It is not a category that is moral or ethical, although they are trying to sell it like that. It is the category of management, system management. In sustainable development, it is uh, uh, combined with two other subsystems or systems, relatively autonomous systems of uh, nature and economy, because quality of life is social, uh, is a, is a, is a, is a property of social system. And these three systems, social, economy, and ecology, have to be in balance, and this is sustainable development. So any betterment of any of these systems must be weighed, weighted about, uh, um, in relation to other two. So, for instance, if my quality of life uh, is to the detriment to the quality of life of some sheep or bush, and this is not caricature, or some blade, blades of grass, then my quality of life has to be reduced in order to uh, uh, make an equilibrium with ecological system. And this is uh, sold in flowery terms because the very doctrine is such that it is a slow aspartame uh, sugar-pilled killer. Uh, the, the poison pill coated in honey or chocolate or whatever you like. Because the very idea is that a human being is a system among other systems. There is no uh, immortal soul. Because immortal soul, let's cut to the chase. Because, you know, I hate this uh, beating around the bush. Uh, they are evoking personal choice. They are evoking uh, liberal rights. The state is interfering in family life. No. It is the revocation of human being as a soul. Full stop. This is what you will hear on Kali Tribune. We don't mince words. And once this is done, uh, the definitions follow that bring about such conclusions as it happened with Alfie Evans. What I was uh, appalled to see is that for my uh, kind of from my observation the judge really believes uh, that he is doing the just thing that means that at least some people in the West uh, interiorized these principles of inhumanity that is they made themselves strictly sensu inhuman uh, but far more polite than me, for <laughs> instance, probably even probably very professional, but inhuman. They co don't consider themselves human. You can't, uh, at least human in the sense that we all know, uh, in the sense that that uh, the, at least my generation and maybe one one of these first millennial generations still sucked, as it were, with mother's milk. Uh, the, the Christian, the Christian uh, uh, principle upon which uh, w everything we have is built, to this or that extent. But this is uh, clearly uh, an evidence that this principle is not alive anymore in the minds and hearts of some people, of huge swaths of people, that is, and is not informing societies. And uh, this is uh, this 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 court ruling kind of demonstrate that, because uh, there was no impediment uh, to transport this child outside the hospital in Britain. Yet they forbade forbade it. The courts forbade it. British courts, uh, which in a sense. I would say you made poor a little Alfie a political prisoner sentenced to death sentenced to death by his own conditions to be honest towards his captors uh, but sentenced to a quality of life because the uh, the whole uh, ruling court ruling is centered about Alfie's interest it's always what is in the best Alfie's interest 
And what is Alfie's interest? Alfie's interest is to have a quality of life. And this is what I mean when I repeatedly talk of right about this idea that inflating your rights is the way uh, to bereft you of your rights. Because uh, by putting uh, putting uh, 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 Alfie's interest before the decision of his parents means that parents are not anymore uh, uh, the main guardians of a child, that they are not uh, uh, the people whose last word, word on the matter should be uh, listened to which is what happened in most polite terms but this is what happened uh, revoking of habeas corpus towards parents and putting uh, the decision and evaluation uh, about quality of life and whether the, this life deserves to last or be terminated uh, put it in the hands of the system in the hands in the in the sensors and uh, hooks and uh, blades of the system, be it uh, hospital system, NHS in British case, be it state, doesn't matter. And this is a landmark case. I'm glad that it didn't pass over uh, under the radar, although in these cases uh, the great, the great majority of people, parties interested, are interested in it because of sentimental reasons and uh, desire to feel good about themselves. I'm sorry, but I don't. I, I know a few of cases of terminally sick children and raising money in in my own country in Croatia via Facebook, where you had the situations where people are fighting for that little angels of theirs and when parents do something they don't approve of they turn their coats and they start to call their heroes uh, idiots fools should be lynched and so on because this is when this uh, mass movement starts around some issue like this uh, they end up in their uh, usually end up in uh, in contradictory results because mass is uh, when when you have a mass you have a uh, infantility and uh, violence irrevocably so this is the case that should have been settled in favor of his parents by the experts i mean, I mean expert by by people who are invested uh, with power to do this but they didn't do it and uh, no mass mass movement or protest will change that or alleviate that only make it worse probably this is the terrible predicament of this state in which we live because we have elites we should have not only not elites but we should have leaders because people have to the society have to have leaders who have a degree of principle uh, we don't have that by we i mean the european space i am not really a part of this western europe proper and have no wish to become it although i don't think anybody will ask me ever what i want or what i don't want but this is this is this is the state of affairs and in, in Britain at least, of course, and but on on the continent, in East Europe, to a significant degree less, but it's coming around there too. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Eastern Europe is moving out from Eastern Europe for economical reasons, so it's very arguable how will we survive on that space of ours. Anyways, to get back to the subject, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the. Uh, little Alfie Evans was sentenced to not have alternative to dying in Britain. That is how we can sum up uh, the ruling and the sentence came about to preserve his quality of life because it was in his best interest to die precisely in that hospital. Because that was quality dying. And this is, this is, this is, this is monstrous. Uh, it is monstrous because it is a precedent and this precedent can be applied 
in numerous cases and a lot of us saw that coming years before when uh, uh, in, in the ascension of our countries to European Union especially we from this uh, let's say backward states that still are not used to such such uh, such such legislatures and such a way of thinking that is completely alien to us uh, that that this will one day bring about situation where for instance you can solve the problem of your uh, insolvent workers by <laughs> euthanizing them because their quality of life is low they are not employable in in in, in uh, profitable uh, professions profitable for them to themselves and why why would what prevents us f uh, uh, from state taking uh, in its hands the ruling of those people have no quality of life so those lives should be terminated there is no logical ontological that is a reason not to do this there is no barrier it's only a matter of decision somebody's decision and in the case of Alfie Evans you can see if you read these court rulings what it means to rely on decisions of such people uh, the other thing is uh, one also uh, that is supposedly contentious and this is uh, gay marriages uh, uh, we on Kali Tribune don't mean words uh, the reason why uh, the, that quasi marriage is uh, pushed uh, to forward with such a strength by uh, power politics in fact is precisely this to uh, bereft uh, to destroy the family uh, to destroy uh, the ability of family to resist outside influence because family is one legal instance that is very hard to penetrate by outside systemic systemic action and when you have a gay marriages then the purpose of uh, child of, of marriage is not so much having children as uh, 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 rearing, uh, upbringing of children. So uh, the parents, physical parents and spiritual parents, if they are in marriage, uh, we can safely assume that too, uh, will be redesignated as legal guardians in 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 order to equalize them with uh, fag or uh, homosexual parents. Uh, because this is the only way the homosexual parents physically cannot have children in a natural way only only by outside outside operative uh, you know, all kinds of uh, uh, all kinds of technologically based high-tech actions they can in science legal actions they can call themselves parents but they will never be parents and they will never be married and they know it in their heart and uh, any homosexual with with common sense will tell you that that the most most of those people I know uh, were <laughs> ridiculing the very idea of gay marriage and until some of them understood what is what it is all about and this is what it is about and all those people advocating it supposedly advocating freedom are uh, in fact uh, uh, and consider themselves for Christ's sakes rebels are in fact uh, the most uh, conformist uh, rubble or pile of scum that ever crawled or uh, rolled across this world, across this earth, because uh, as some of my readers noted, it is unbelievable that young people fall for this, who are rebellious, because when you are very young, Especially when you are rebellious in nature, you feel uh, where the power dictum comes from. No matter how well cushioned its words are, and you rebel against it. Nowadays, not young people uh, uh, fighting to be as much as compliant as they can. And they can grow their hairs long, or they can uh, dye their hair in different colors. 
uh, yet and, 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 and wear spikes on their bracelets as we used to in punk days and so on and so forth but this helps them none they are conformists unbelievable conformists and this is historical I think precedent at least in 20th century with the discovery of teenager because this is not normal this is not uh, I don't know, let's say customary teenage behavior there is no rebellion into it so gay marriages you can put them and I can say this to leftists who who are appalled by this case of Alfie Evans and are appalled by many things that we that are called somewhat mistakenly liberal or left policy uh, this, you can't have one without other the, the, the reason why you have gay, gay marriages is the same reason why this child had to die precisely in England and this is the situation how we'll deal with it will anybody deal with it we'll see Kali Tribune will be satisfied only to the report this time thank you for your attention this was Branko Malic of Kali Tribune signing out